Mm. Now the reading has to be taken with the help of the vernier one. Vernier one. Here on the vernier one, the vernier scale zero. Vernier scale zero coincides with. You see here, vernier scale zero coincides with somewhere around. 86 degrees in the main scale. Now we use the convex lens, a magnifying lens. Uh, I think you can spot the vernier zero there. Vernier zero is here, and it coincides with the 86th degree in the main scale. So that will be taken as the main scale reading MSR. To take the vernier coincidence. <coughs> Which is the second reading that you take in the vernier one itself. Out of the 30 divisions that you can see here in the vernier zero to 30, only one of the vernier division will exactly coincide with any of the main scale division. Only one among 30 will exactly coincide with any of these. That one division will have to be taken as the vernier coincidence. Now I will just use the lens to find it out. I'm finding it's very difficult to focus. You have to go through the naked eye and then get that. And I'm getting that somewhere around 20. So I'm writing this down <coughs> like this. So this is the first reading. I'm just writing the direct way. Reading <coughs> the near one. Main scale division is 86 degrees. And the one year is 20 minutes. Now the same is done for the one year two aspect. This side, the one year two is over here. And again, I will just note down the main scale division, main scale reading rather, which comes to around 266 degrees. And then the one year coincidence is 15 minutes. I will note it down. <coughs> the one year two is 166 degrees and 15 minutes. Incidentally, if we find there will be a difference of 180 degrees between one year one degree and one year two degrees, main scale. So if we subtract 166 to 86, we will get. Telescope. I have to watch and then move the telescope towards one side until I get the first color among this, which is violet. And I have to move further to get the blue color, blue color line, which is the light spectrum. I am moving the telescope now. I am moving the telescope. Capture the blue color. Now, what the blue color in view? About the blue color in view, you can see that it's very clear. See the horizontal cross here, and the blue color will be visible now. You can see, you can see that blue color there. That is blue color. That's a blue line, and you can also see the violet line by the side of it. So the blue line has to be <coughs> coincided with the vertical cross here, for which I have to close the screw, radial screw, and then adjust the tangential screw here. Until it coincides with the vertical crosswalk. I have done that now. The blue color line, blue color line coincides with the vertical crosswalk. 
Now once again the reading is now noted down here in Vernier 1. So that is written here in the table here. Look. So the reading is noted down as before and the same thing is done for the Vernier 2 as well. Vernier 2 as well. So over here you have to write the reading that you get for the Vernier 2. Once again I tell you the difference between Vernier 1 and Vernier 2 degrees will be 180 degrees. <coughs> Time passing. 